So Chris is going to show us how to pull that volcano away at home. First step before you need to call him, try to maybe do a little bit of repair yourself. All right, you ready to show us what to do? Sure. Step sure. number one. So we're going to take like some little trowels or some gloves and just pull the stuff back yeah, um, pull from the back. tree a little bit at a time. Not, don't get super aggressive. Um, it's a it's a patient man's game. So. Um, like a therapy. So <laughs> <laughs> right here we've exposed some small roots. At this point, they're not considered girdling; they're circling. So what will happen is these roots will continue to increase in diameter. Mm -hmm. The trunk will continue to increase in diameter. Right. And they will get tighter and tighter. Get tighter, right? right? And they will strangle. These will become girdling roots. So I like to use the old tools for this, not your good ones. Yeah. And then um, you're gonna get down in the dirt. Yeah, you're getting down in the dirt. You're gonna ruin them. Yeah. yeah. So what we want to do is we can come in here and basically just cut, and then find two, the other cut. end. And we can cut that. Oh. Same thing in here. We just want to get all these off of here. You're going to be free, tree. We're helping you out. Chris is here to help you. <laughs> and so what we want to do, we don't want to just do that one little spot. We want to do that all, all the, the way, way around. around. But in the yeah. interest of time, then we'll just do that little section there. But we want to keep going down and we want to see where the trunk flares out and turns Remember, into roots. Remember, it's got that scoop, right? Yep. So the very last thing is to smooth this out over so that we're actually covering the roots because you do want to cover the roots. Yeah, so the buttress the roots. roots. And, and again, for the roots sake, you don't have to cover them. But in urban environments, I typically do because they're subjected to the lawn mowers, the string trimmers. And a little, a layer of dirt is better over them than lawn mowers and trimmers sure, and baby showers is what you're saying. Yeah. Cool. All right, guys. So if you have a volcano mulch situation at your house, First thing to do is to do those three simple steps we just talked about, and then if you can't figure it out or your tree is already on its way out, call Chris and he'll help you out. <laughs>